Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. I've been getting a lot of correspondence, especially going into the end of the year. I think people, like they sort of understand, yeah, holidays come and they kind of get, I don't know, wound up about their cases and things. And they, they ask me a lot about, you know, well, this is beyond the normal processing time or, or I contact, you know, the, no, the standard processing time is this. Look, USCIS used to not like post these standard normal processing time. They, they would note it, but you mostly had to kind of go looking for this information. Now they've got this estimated processing time thing and then they say, well, when that comes to an end, you should do something about it. I kind of wish they wouldn't say that because quite frankly, there isn't much to be done. If USCIS is processing the case, they're processing the case, you know, and you can get as many people involved in it as you want and try to kick them to make them do something, you know, kick them metaphorically speaking. And, but that's not going to really do a lot of good. You know, all they'll say is, hey, we're processing it as fast as that we can. And especially in this, whatever you want to call it, all these you know, COVID precautions, if you will, they're just not going to move very fast. It's just the nature of the beast. Now, I know that's cold comfort for a lot of folks, and they don't really want to hear that, but the, the point of this video and the thing to take away from it, there is no normal processing time with USCIS. I'll oftentimes file cases relatively the same posture, you know, the same kind of case, for example, a K-1 fiance visa, you know, everything about them is, is the same. You know, the, the fundamental points that you're looking at when you look at these cases, they'll go in the same day sometimes, and they'll process in a radically different time frame. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. And, you know, I'm not saying to just give up and, and put up with it if it goes on for years and years and years. But, you know, I mean, a lot of these cases have gotten a lot slower to begin with in terms of processing for a lot, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, with respect to the K-1, especially, you know, the Trump administration deprioritized those cases. The federal court sort of overturned that deprioritization. It's going to take time for the ramifications of that to be reversed. Frankly, this administration is not overly active in sort of rectifying these problems. So yeah, uh, K-1s, they process as fast as they process. You know, I, I just would kind of disregard normal processing times because you're just gonna drive yourself nuts.